Hi, welcome to this e-learning best practices video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link your videos inside of SharePoint so people can access them. In a previous video, I showed you how to take your training files and upload them to the Office 365 video service. This video service is great because it's a streaming service. What's not so great is the files are not in order. Now, right now they are, but as people start using them, they're going to shift and change based on the relevance. It's kind of like YouTube. You upload a whole bunch of videos, YouTube figures out what the most popular ones are. This is the same thing. So what we're gonna do is create a very simple SharePoint list that allows us to link to each one of these files. I'm in SharePoint and I'm going to create a new site. With my new site created, I'm going to go ahead and create a SharePoint list. And that list is going to contain a list of all the videos in the order that I want them. So to get started, I'll click the gear at the top right hand side of the screen, choose the add an app menu item, choose a custom list, and I'll call this training activities. Once your list is created, you'll be brought to the site contents page. Scroll down and choose the training activities list. Okay, from here you're going to get a little thing helping you learn how to use the site. Just go ahead and X that out. We're going to create a column that represents the activity number. This is how we're going to sort the videos. So I'll just choose number. Now this could be a single line of text and you could use 01, 02, 03, but if I choose number, it's just gonna be one, two, three. So however you want to store your activity numbers is fine. So I'm gonna just choose number and I'm gonna call this activity. I also need to create a link. So I'll go ahead and click this plus sign one more time click more and I'm going to call this link and then I'll just go ahead and find hyperlink or picture and I'll give it a description and click OK. I want the activity number to be to the left of the title. I also want this list to sort by activity number so I'm going to come over here to this all items area and click that and choose edit current view. The First thing I'm going to do is take this link, sorry, the activity and make that number one. The next thing I'm going to do is scroll down here and find sort. And instead of sorting by the ID number, I'm going to have it sort by activity. Then I'll click OK. Now my list should show the activity number first, which it does, the title, and then the link. This next part is a little convoluted because the URLs for all of the training videos are in the Office 365 video site. So what I'm gonna do is come to that channel and locate the video that I know is the first training video. So I'll choose this one and I'll copy the URL. Then I'll come back to the list and click New. This is the first activity. Here's the original title for the video. Here's the URL and here's the display text. I'll leave the display text what the title is in the Office 365 video service. Great, so now I have the first training video. I can go ahead and click this and it should bring me to the video and start playing. Yeah, great. As you can see, I've updated the list so it has all of the videos listed now. 
I could modify the home page for the SharePoint site, but I'm not going to get into all that detail in this training video. What I will do though is show you how to get it over onto the quick launch bar. To do that, what we're going to do is go to the gear icon at the top right side of the screen and choose list settings. We'll click list name, description, and navigation. And we'll say yes to display this list on the quick launch and click save. Come back here to training activities. And now you can see the training activities are listed in the quick launch bar. So if someone goes to the home page now, they'll see all of this. And again, you could just add the list right here to the home page, but you will see there on the left hand side, we have the training activities listed so anyone can access that. Thank you for watching this video. We would really appreciate it if you press the like button. If you have any comments, please feel free to use the comment section.